Alright, so I normally don't do these kinds of videos, but I figured that some people would find a good amount of joy in knowing that Unreal Engine can be ran on Linux. So I'm in my Fedora Linux install. So to get Unreal Engine working, you're going to need to go into software and download the Epic Games, the Epic Asset Manager. As you can see, I've already got it installed. So you're going to want to launch that. So you're going to get prompted to log in. You'll just need to follow the instructions of what it says. You just log into your Epic Games account. You copy the authentication code that it gives you into the box. I've already done that. Um, so just bear with me with that. So let's actually install the engine. So you can see I've got a whole bunch of assets here. Uh, any asset that you've gotten from the Epic Games store will appear here. So that's plugins, assets, projects, all that. So I've already got Unreal 5.3.2 installed, but you click Install Engine like that. You can see those are the available versions. Uh, you can also log into GitHub to get the Unreal Engine repository from Docker, but I have not done that. So um, you install the engine. Let's launch the engine. So it's going to take a little bit of time, so just be patient with it. You might see something that pops up saying, uh, that this program is not responding or something like that. Uh, but just uh, keep clicking wait if that pops up. So when it finally boots up, uh, you can create a project. I'm just going to use the default third person project and name it my project. I just leave all the settings on the default. So this is where you might get more of those uh, is not responding messages. So like I'm doing here, just click wait. because it is responding, the operating system is just thinking that it's not. It's a liar. As we can see, the engine is going to load up the blank project. Okay, so once the engine loads, it'll say something about Shader Model 6 not being enabled. Uh, we can just fix that later um, through the settings. But as we can see, we've got uh, everything looking pretty good. Uh, the lags you see are just from the screen recording I'm using. So now that we got the engine loaded, uh, Let's download some plugins, because as we can see, there's only one plugin installed right now, which is pretty boring. So let's go to the library. Uh, I think I'm going to install the Blockout Tools plugin. It is a great plugin uh, for prototyping blockouts and prototyping your level designs and stuff like that. So you click download, you click the version that you want, I'm going to download the 5.3 version, and then you just click download. So you click here. And you'll see the progress uh, downloading and extracting. Strangely, sometimes the extracting happens before it's finished downloading, which is kind of weird. It kind of reminds me of Visual Studio when you have the uh, components installing while it's still downloading. Just something to keep in mind. All right, so now that it's finished, uh, you'll notice that when we go into our project, I just got to refresh it there because uh, sometimes it won't pop up. So you'll notice that when we go into the project that it will not appear. You could always just take my word for it, but I just want to demonstrate uh, what I'm talking about just so that I don't look crazy. So I'll just close that out. Go into... Oop, yep. <laughs> Gotta love Fedora with the default uh, navigation settings. So if we go and type in block, you'll see that it's not there. So what are we going to do about that? Well, you want to go into the install directory of where your plugins are being installed, which is by default in the Epic Vault. So you want to go into the actual plugin folder right here and marketplace. So we want to copy this. To our Unreal Engine install directory as such. So we're in plugins. We paste that marketplace folder in there. And now we want to do is we want to copy this once again and we want to go into Unreal Projects, select the project we just made, create a new folder called plugins if it's not already made, which usually it isn't, and you want to paste that folder in there as well. So now, when we launch our project, we will get a message that says the following, and just click yes. 
And what this is going to do is it's going to compile, or rather recompile, the plugin for our project. Uh, unfortunately, this, some this is something that we have to do for each plugin that we install, um, instead of it just uh, installing to the engine and the project manually, or automatically, sorry. Uh, but, um, I was having a lot of trouble with this, that's why I'm making this video, and I couldn't really find anything about uh, how to get plugins properly working with this application. So, uh, this, from what I can understand, is the easiest way to do it. It means you don't have to compile the plugins manually uh, by typing a bunch of shit into the terminal and deal with crashes and all this other crap. So as we can see, the project is successfully launching. We've got the splash screen here. And you'll see when it launches that the plugin is successfully installed. This is one of those things that's kind of slow in this version of Unreal, so let's close all this stuff. We update the project by clicking update there, and now we can see in plugins that our blockout tools is installed. And to demonstrate that it works, I'm just going to create a little block here, like right there. Just give it a minute to compile its shaders. And there you go, you can see it's working just like it would on the Windows version of Unreal. Once again, I highly recommend this plugin because it's incredibly useful. And the change is safe. Uh, the changes that we make in the editor are safe. So if you did find this video useful, uh, be sure to leave a like. If you're having any issues or you have any criticisms, be sure to leave a comment because I read all of the comments that are on my videos. And be sure to share this with your friends, especially if those friends are working in Unreal in Linux. Um, and until next time, uh, my name is Elite Enigma, and I am out.